you work with people at all different levels, right? You work with people that are that are like really stuck and have you know have like just like okay, I've been really really stuck in a lot of different areas. But you also work with real high performance people, right? Yeah. And um, let's talk about them for a little bit because you know, people think oh, like you talked about before, you know, I made it to a certain point, and uh, a lot of high performance people make it to a certain point and in certain areas of their lives and and some of them are, are happy where they're at right because you think you're going to just stay there but some of them are like you know i'm still not satisfied or i think i can do better so what do you what do you do when you when you come across someone who's a high performance person and they're thinking about coaching or they've had a coach in the past and it didn't quite go the way they wanted um let's talk about them for a bit it's really interesting. You know, when I was young, um, I thought that when people had success, right, like the very, very successful people, they had to be the happiest people on the planet because they achieved their goals. They were living their dreams and they are. We spoke about manifestation and how having a dream, they achieve their dream and maybe they achieve their dream you know, really rocked their goals, made it to the top in a certain area because they used grit and will and they really, you know, had that full focus in one area and yet maybe forgot other areas of their life and many times sacrificed themselves to achieve that success. And so what I have found in now working with high performers and high achievers and those who are very successful is that many times they do have incredible success and yet in other areas of their life, they are really unfulfilled, unhappy, maybe with, in relationships, in love, right? Um, even those who are very successful have a lot of chaos, a lot of drama. It can chaos and drama that can follow anyone everywhere, anywhere. However, those who seem to have hit it and I've lived it, I've been there when I thought I had made it to the top in business, made it through a health challenge, a life threatening health challenge to feel like, ha, huh, I'm golden. But many people can really hit it and then wonder why am I not fulfilled? Where's my happiness? Where's my joy? Where's that life? Where's that? Because we've been fed that material things make us happy. We've been fed through the media that if we have all of our social media in check and on point and looking happy and looking good, that then that would equal our own innate and internal and eternal happiness. And it doesn't work that way. So a lot of those people I work with there's someone I had the opportunity to sit down with who is uber successful and uh, over the summer and they were speaking with me and what they said was, Patricia, I have all of this. I have all of this. And yet I don't feel like I'm living my best life. I don't feel like I'm living all that I can live personally. And can you help me? So this is about, you know, really taking a look at what is success. And yes, success is made up of a lot of different things with a lot of different definitions from various people. Each of us gets to um, define what success means in our life. And yet I feel that, you know, true success is living fully, you know, living completely, living freely, living happily and living healthily and um, living in peace and especially in harmony with our fullest potential. I, I love that because the because I don't think people realize what the definition of success really is. I mean, they know monetarily success when I get to this point, if I have this or I have these monetary things like you mentioned. Um, you know, part of, I think, what people are concerned about is if I put a lot of effort into this area of my life, or like I put a bunch of area effort in my life, and now I want to focus on these other areas, won't this area suffer? And so let's talk about that a little bit. Yeah. A lot of people fear that that will suffer because how they got there, right? So we have one area that's really successful 
And now we're noticing that these other areas need attention. And if I give attention to these other areas, then this one is going to shrivel up <laughs> and go away. But here's the key is that we, we spoke about energy a little earlier. And right now, the way in which the world's work, working right now, the way in which the cosmic energy and everything is flowing in right now, we're in a different world in a different time and things are happening in a different way than they ever have before. It's not been so long ago where it was always about the grind and you've got to push and you've got to really, you know, sacrifice yourself and you've got to, you know, not get any sleep and you've got to pound it out and grind it out and just, you know, just make it happen and push, 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 push. We're now, we've just crossed the line energetically where people will still be able to create results and achieve success like that and along that realm, but never like they ever did before. And now what's being asked is that we change the way in which we're creating, change the way in which we're um, living, change the way in which results are being created. And so where, especially when I work with people, what people get to see is the difference is they work not as hard. So it's not about working harder. It's, it's really about um, working, we've heard this before, working smarter, but it's about working differently with the energy. And so that is a fear that if I don't stay on this track, then everything's going to disappear. And in fact, the truth is, by switching it up a little bit energetically, that area actually can expand even greater while all of the other areas start to flourish. And so where that fear comes in, that if I don't stay on the track that I've been to create this, then it will disappear. There is a part of that that is true because we're only going to be in one place at one time, right? We can't be divided. And that's why we continue to come back here. Because if we can really get this in tune and really get this strong and really get this together, all areas can thrive. When you say that, in my mind, and maybe a bad, bad analogy, but I, I, I picture the light bulbs in all these different areas, right? And they're all on, but they're on at different levels. And if I go to a different level here and I turn this light up a little bit more, that actually provides more light to everything, right? So, so within me, there's more light to, to your point. Um, you know, it's about habits, right? Isn't it about, it's about habits and ingrained habits. Um, what do you do? You know, give me an example, you know, of someone or what you would do with someone if they've just, they've got a habit, right? They, they, there's, you know, we're changing energy, but, Part of it is patterns and habits. So what do you do to work with people, to someone to help, let's, let's work on this pattern or work, work on this habit or change it to something that's different or better? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. You know, what's so interesting is we are, we are made of habits. <laughs> We're made of patterns and paradigms. And, you know, we speak about the lions and tigers and bears, oh my, on the journey of Dorothy and the Wizard of Oz. We are filled with patterns and paradigms and barriers and obstacles, oh my. But mostly it comes down to those patterns, it comes down to the beliefs, it comes down to the subconscious. And I really love working within the subconscious mind because we create results based upon what we believe at the core of our being. And when I work with people, people say, well, you know, Patricia, that's not true because what I believe is that I'm a superstar. My results are not showing that I am. It's not what we believe on the consciousness. Our conscious mind believes that we're a superstar. It's what does the subconscious believe and what is really hidden underneath there that we may not even know is going on within us that could be sabotaging our results. So I really love to go to the subconscious and reprogram and repattern at that level. And of course, that takes the consciousness. It takes our, our conscious mind to decide to go in there and reprogram it. But it really is, it's like a, a, a new program, installing a new program. 
like on a computer, we, we have these upgrades and these programs that we upgrade often. And inside each one of us, we have the opportunity to put in a new program, reprogram, install a new program, a new operating system, operating system, a new program so that we get new results.